Good morning everyone and welcome to a brand new vlog. Uh, Callum has just kindly carried this insanely heavy, like, I can't even explain. Can't explain how heavy. Callum was vertical pushing this pushing on the floor it. and it says it's from John Lewis but oh my. Just broke it. Oh. <laughs> Don't know how we're get that we might just have to open the, the lid. Oh. Oh. oh my god it's from Flash What's and Febreze. This is Hinge. What? the hell? Oh my god, guys, I can't even explain to you how heavy this is. We'll get it out and I'll show you. It's layers upon layers of cleaning stuff. This is quite possibly the best PR parcel I've ever got. It's all auto- <gasps> I've got- I've got new mop heads. Oh my god. There's everything in here. There's a dust magnet. I don't know what this is. I think this might be a candle maybe. Oh my god. Bathroom little scent thing. Some new pods. I think these are- what is this? Are these slippers? They're ready. Are these heated? Oh my god, I think they're Callum, they're heated slippers. They're heated slippers. What the hell? We've got some scent boosters. Oh, the Nor beads. My mum loves these. Yeah, that Little nice. plug-in. That smells unreal. Oh my god, some more platinum pods. I'm sorted for cleaning stuff for the next year. I don't think I need to buy anything ever again. We've got these. Oh my god, wait, what's in there? Oh, <gasps> wait, what the f Oh my god, guys, I have been truly spoiled. Thank you so much. I can't believe this. All my clothes and everything are gonna smell insane. It smells so good, doesn't it? Is this floor cleaner? Is it? All purpose cleaner. What the hell? There's another layer. No, this is insane. This is like me going to my home bargains trip four times over. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it smells nice. Honestly. It smells so insane. <gasps> They've got the fabric spray that I can put on all of my soft furnishings. This is crazy. Thank you so much. I'm pretty sure this is Joy of Clean who sent me this. But wow. Spray Thank you so done. much. Spray wipe done. <gasps> this is my favourite cleaning thing ever. This is so, so good. Just want to say a huge thank you to Joy of Clean for sending me all of this because this is genuinely a dream. I just faced my mum and I've never seen my mum look so shocked. We woke her up from a nap and her jaw literally just dropped so joy clean you are the real ones oh my, i i'm just in shock this is gonna fill my full cupboard up I am just popping in here in this vlog because it is time for another White Fox haul. I say this every single month, but I actually think this might be one of my favourite hauls to date. Also, please just ignore how bunged up I sound. I am currently battling, again, well, yet again, the worst cold known to man. I don't know what everybody in the UK is getting right now, but it's literally the worst thing. I, I, I can't breathe out my nose, so we're just going to have to deal with me sounding very nasally. White Fox also stock White Fox Active and white fox swim however i don't actually have any of those pieces today i've actually just got a very like basics haul but also like a very autumny winter haul i just need to stock up on like basic items in my wardrobe now white fox actually offer uk next day delivery now which all of us girlies are screaming about and i've also got a discount code for you so you can use the code anastasia x white fox i'll pop it on screen here as well and that is going to get you 15 percent off your entire order excluding sale and collabs let's get on into the haul because i know you guys are going to love this first of all i'm actually wearing one of my black basic white fox tops now i put this on this morning and oh my god the material is just gorgeous it is so stretchy it is so comfy i love the neckline the neckline is a little bit lower which is really nice and it's just look how stretchy the material is like it's the perfect basic you need for your wardrobe i feel like i go through phases with my white fox hauls like i either buy loads of like really out there clothes or have a haul that is really full of basics and i really needed a lot of like basic tops and things like that and just like staple jeans jeans i've got some really good jeans coming up but i love this top and i actually also got a basic white top as well so this is the two blessed tee in small and it's literally just a plain white t-shirt but we all need a plain white bodycon t-shirt in our wardrobe they're just super buildable if you're wearing like a cardigan or like a really nice coat or anything and you don't want something too much going on underneath we all need these basic t-shirts so i picked up this one and i love it again the material is super super stretchy and and we just need a basic white t-shirt and a basic black t-shirt so these were the two basics that i picked up god knows how many times i just said the word basic in that sentence then i got another cardigan i think it was in my last haul that i picked up a really chunky knit cardigan and i have worn it so much since picking that up so i actually wanted to get another one this is the a little too much knit cardigan and it is basically very similar to the one that i already picked up but this is just all over cream and it 
is so thick and it's so warm and I think I could actually wear this without having to wear a coat. There's so many options as to how I can style this cardigan and the colour as well is going to match literally everything in my wardrobe. Then I've got a jumper because obviously it is about to go to minus temperatures. I feel like in Manchester one day it can be like 20 degrees and the next day it's literally minus temperatures and I feel like I'm in the Arctic. So I picked up this grey jumper and this is gorgeous. This is called the winter's chill knit sweater and i got this in a size medium slash large and the knit again is so gorgeous it's not itchy at all either which is something that i really look for in my knitwear because my skin gets really irritated very easily but with white fox stuff my skin never gets itchy i love the neckline it's a little bit of a higher neckline and it's got a kind of like different detail around the neckline which is really nice and it's just a nice basic gray jumper we all need one of these and i like wearing jumpers because and you don't have to wear a coat. Then I picked up some t-shirts. This one is actually quite a summery t-shirt, but I just saw it and really loved it. So it looks like this. And I thought this was so fun. It is the Got My Peaches Oversized Tee. And it's just got peaches on it. And it says, White Fox Established. White Fox t-shirts are the perfect, like, fit and shape for my body. I just love them. So every time I do an order on White Fox, I always have to pick up quite a few of the t-shirts. Then I've actually got two, like, football-style t-shirts. So this one, which I actually love, 13 is always on all the White Fox stuff. And that is my lucky number because it's my birthday. So I really, really like the fact that this top has 13 on the back but this is just a cool little football top it says white fox sports club athleisure since 13 and then it says white fox and it's like a navy sort of color but i thought with some jeans this could look really nice just to throw on again or with some joggers i just get swayed into everything that has 13 on okay i have no excuses and again we've got another football top and obviously this one has 13 on as well. I've just got really lucky that 13 is my lucky number and it's actually plastered on all the White Fox stuff. But again, this is another football t-shirt, but this actually has nothing on the back, which is quite nice. It's just got this on the front. It says Athleisure Club White Fox 13. And I like the collar on this because this one that I just showed is definitely more of a football top, but this one could just be seen as like a general sports top. Um, and with jeans, again, I think this could look really nice. And I love the material. Again, it's quite like stretchy, but it feels very smooth and it's like it looks really good quality so excited to get some use out of this then i had to pick up some white fox jeans because what would a white fox haul be if i didn't pick up some jeans so i actually got two pairs so i got this pair here and these are the with you low rise wide leg jeans in vintage mid blue so i don't actually have a pair of jeans in this sort of blue that i really really love i've got some white fox ones in like a darker denim in like a black that i've literally been living in and then i've also got my like lighter blues not like acid wash but like a lighter denim than this and i feel like i just needed more of a blue denim in my wardrobe i just personally love low rise jeans and i've finally figured out like my perfect sizing for them and it's a white fox medium and they fit perfectly on my hips just on my waist these are lovely of course they are super oversized super baggy you've got all the pockets you've got the white fox detailing at the back i just cannot recommend white fox jeans enough they are all i live in in every single one of my vlogs you will literally just see me in white fox jeans so now this is a very rogue purchase because i have never worn white jeans in my life and i'm going to be so real i'm still not 100 percent if they're going to look amazing on me but i really wanted to get a pair because the model looked so good in them and the way she styled them and i was like okay i know it's a bit of a risky color because if you spill something down yourself you're screwed but i just thought they were really nice like i really really like these these are the bring the style low rise wide leg jeans so again these are low rise because love my low rise jeans and they're basically just really baggy white jeans but i just loved them and i loved the brown stitching and like all the like subtle detailing of the brown don't really know how i'm going to style them yet but i've just never owned white jeans and i felt like it was just time that i added another colorway into my jean collection and then i've got a couple of accessories so i actually got this belt this is a gorgeous like burgundy wine red belt i actually already have a really gorgeous like leather looking belt but i loved the gold buckle on this one because i wear all gold jewelry so i thought it would tie in really nice 
nicely. So I picked up this. Then I picked up this gorgeous little black bag. It's like a little cylindery square, like rectangle. I don't really know, not square. More like a cylinder rectangle sort of shape bag. And it's got a long strap, but I would probably won't use a long strap. I'll just turn it into a short strap. But I just thought this would be really lovely for a little night out bag, like just on my shoulder. Obviously I need to like lengthen the strap, but this just to me looked like the perfect night out bag. So I picked this up and again, all the detailing is gold. It's just gonna match my jewelry, which is perfect. And then finally I picked up this really cute little key ring because I've been on the hunt for a new key ring for a really long time now. I've been literally saying it for, oh my God, like three months probably. And then when I was doing my white box order, I saw this and I thought this was so cute because it has a little cowboy boot on it. And obviously because I just got back from Nashville, oh my God, it's got a little cowboy hat on it too. I just thought this would be really, really sweet. Even if I don't use it as a key ring, even if I just hang this off of like my handbag or something, because I've recently been watching loads of TikToks of people just like decorating their handbags and I love how it looks. So I actually might just do that with this, but I thought it was really cute and again, gold like i'm a gold girly through and through that is everything that i picked up in my white fox haul i hope you have enjoyed seeing the pieces that i picked up remember i have got my discount code which is anastasia x wf and that is going to get you 15 percent off of your entire order excluding a sale and a collapse and other than that let's jump back into the vlog now we can do a proper introduction because that joy of clean basically was the introduction to the vlog but hello everybody it is thursday and welcome to a brand new vlog that was possibly the craziest pr parcel i've ever received like i received some crazy things from brands but that i can't even explain how heavy it was like that was the heaviest parcel i think i've probably ever received like like i said callum was actually pushing it and he was basically flat on the floor pushing it because it was that heavy but thank you so much because i'm officially stocked up up with all my cleaning stuff for the next like year but today it is thursday i have just finished filming my last vlog just a little american haul for you guys with some of the things that i picked up and tonight i'm actually going out i've literally had the busiest week so on monday i had this is why i haven't vlogged by the way on monday i had a shoot in my flat and it was with the craziest brand like i really can't believe i've actually worked with this brand now it's very wild when it comes out but yeah i did an at-home shoot on monday the brand came to me which was really nice and then tuesday i was in london with hinge which was really fun and then I had to shoot a load of ads in a hotel that night. Woke up the next morning, filmed another ad. I'm very blessed with the amount of work I'm getting at the moment. I'm very, very grateful. And then after that, went straight to a shoot for Casey. And that was really fun. We had such a laugh doing that video. I'm really excited for you to see it. And then today I had to go to represent this morning because they actually dressed me for an event that I'm going to tonight. It's the represent opening of their store. And I'm really excited. The store was gorgeous when I went in it earlier. So we're going to like the store opening and then we're all going to the after party after so tonight's gonna be a very late one and then tomorrow i actually have another shoot which is half at home the brand are coming to me again and then we're going out to film the rest of the stuff so this week is giving busy next week is a bit more chilled in the sense of i don't have like shoots and stuff going on so i'll definitely be able to vlog more but i couldn't really vlog much of what i was doing the last few days because it was literally just like shoot work shoot work so yeah that's why i'm only starting the vlog now and also just had a couple of days off vlogging because i was vlogging a lot on holiday i didn't actually realize felt like a top vlogger when i sent callum all the footage because i was like wow there's like three hours worth of footage here but yeah that is the plan for today and then again a chilled weekend this weekend callum is actually hosting kind of like a murder mystery sort of party which is going to be really fun and saf might be coming up as well i'm seeing saf next weekend for halloween because we're having a big halloween party but yeah she might be coming up this weekend so i really hope she does because we're saying we need a proper catch up we've got so much to catch up on and we're like we're not going to be able to do it at halloween when we're drunk so fingers crossed she comes up this weekend if not then we're going to arrange see each other after halloween because we've got a couple of videos planned as well they want to film for you guys but i just can't wait i was saying at the end of my other vlog i honestly can't wait to sleep i am so tired i have never felt my body actually feel this tired before but i actually could sleep now and go to bed for the night and it is five past four so i can't do that because i've got a very exciting night ahead but i need to go and get showered and wash my hair because i'm giving myself a big bouncy blow dry i basically think my outfit would actually look better with hair up but i was basically explaining where the vlog i need to wash my hair because i want my hair down for the shoot tomorrow and i'm not gonna have time to do it in the morning especially if i'm feeling a little bit hungover so i'm telling myself i'm really not drinking much tonight because i don't want to be hungover for my shoot but yeah tired all the living room today everything is feeling pretty organized apart from the office the office is giving hell that is on my do list next week organize goddamn office honestly i never know what to do with that room because i really want to redecorate it but then part of me is like is there a point 
point because it's always so messy because that's where I work in there. So I try and keep everywhere else really tidy and in that room I can just shut the door and forget about it when I'm done. But then it always plays in my mind like, oh no, you could make the office look really cute. Anyway, I am gonna go and get a shower now because I need to take this makeup off and redo it and get re ready and I'm really excited. I think this outfit is gonna look really cool. Vlogception, oh, just to start off this lovely Friday night vlog. We're shopping for Callum's Murder Mystery Night. Oh well, yeah, we're gonna do Halloween recipes. Yeah, some bouchetta. Yeah. So Byron's talking to himself. Where are you going? Yeah, Should we, can we go upstairs first? Can we not do Halloween section first? No, do you? Upstairs. Let's go upstairs first because I want to see if they've got some Lego. It's a bit hell with everybody vlogging right now, but... <laughs> oh, let me put the <laughs> We're looking at the Lego because Callum... They've got a mini yeah. Disney castle. Well, Callum's recently well, been no, building that's Lego. Not Dis that's not fucking no, Lego. No, bitch, relax. What do you mean? What is it? Well, it says like, Lego Disney castle. They don't really have you... any big sets. No, they might do though, but you're too in too much trying to get a little one. I know, I want to get the big one, but I just want to ease myself into the Lego world first. But... Doing this is cute. Jigsaws? How many pieces is this? I should say on the bottom. Oh, and a bib. It's awfully light. It's very small in there. It's a good one. Yeah, it's, it's like 12 plus. I need to go to a Lego shop then. It's 12 that plus, but so I am 24, so. It doesn't say how many pieces it's it is. It's not Lego though. Are you on it? Because I've got hot It's because my hot no, It I says Lego. Like the blocks no, I do. No, no, no yeah, I, I know what you're saying. This one isn't too big, but that, right, to, for size reference, that yeah. is that big. Oh, it's okay, so it's tiny so castle. Like, I don't, yeah, I'd rather get the bigger one, I'll wait. Are you just going to go full out, or are you going to start for Oh, one? I don't know. There's not, there's, there's not really any here that's calling my name, Do to be honest. Do you want me to see how many pieces? Yeah, I like the car. There's a plane, The G-Wagon's cool. That's what Billy's got. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that's that. A... I've been sidetracked. I'm leaving these two to the murder mystery. Look at all this Asda stuff. I can buy Asda shopping bags. I can get an Asda outfit. An Asda trolley. And where's the basket gone? Oh, and the basket. Atticus is probably too old to want this for Christmas, but I want it for myself. <laughs> my purchase for tonight is my mini pumpkin, which I'm going to paint next week. Oh, there. Good morning everyone, or should I say good afternoon because it's actually not morning, it's about four o'clock I think. We are midway making the charcuterie board for Callum's little Halloween night. I love making charcuterie boards so I'm just piecing it all together for him, I just put a little pumpkin on it. Callum did this with the salami and the bone, it looks really cool, but we're just making some bouchetta, which is like bruschetta with cheese shaped ghosts on it, and then let me show you the strawberries. Look how cute these are. Oh yeah, the one with the three eyes is sick, we just melted with some chocolate and then put some eyes on the strawberries just waiting for them to dry. How cute. Just need to show you the finished charcuterie board before everybody eats this. How cool does it look? We made the little bouchetta and cut some ghosts out of cheese. And look how cute the little strawberries are. I'm obsessed. Here is the little setup that Byron and Callum have been doing. Billy's just doing at the front door. It looks so cute. Look at the ceiling with all the witch's hats. We're doing a murder mystery. So all the murder mystery bits are outside. And how cute are these? A little glasses to drink out of. Cal is officially the hostess with the mostess. Are you picking at the charcuterie? Hey, Strawberry. I keep accidentally picking up Cal's camera instead of mine, but we've got our glass of Whispering Angel waiting for everybody to arrive. They're about to do a house tour. Spooky house tour. <laughs> I want to show you Byron's car. <laughs> And watch, right? So basically, the light is voice activated, and no one's gonna know Byron's here. The bathroom is gonna be in pitch black, and then he's gonna scream so that everyone knows, like, he's here. So, this is gonna be the effect. Ah! Good, right? Uh, oh, hey, sorry. Is <laughs> cute! Oh, this is so oh, cute! Oh, this is so cute! What the hell? Look, I'm moving. so amazed. I'm screaming. Right, so I don't know if Billy's explained to you, but my friends are. We're on a mission. Somebody has been murdered, right? <laughs> we need to work out how and who did it. And it was one of us that did it. Okay? This is awfully serious, okay? Don't really know the rules. Not really read it fully through. I think there has been a murder! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
was going to have started late. Yes, yeah, bro. It's been up long late. It's kind of been up long late. You're doing an awful job. Oh, so it must be fun. First of all, I would like to thank you all for attending my murder mystery. I did try my very hardest, despite it being quite a flop. <laughs> but, did everybody have fun doing it? Yes, Carl. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Host. It is a sense of community here on Halloween. And <laughs> for that, I am thankful. This is my favourite season. And I have had a very good time celebrating with you all. And the night is not yet over. <laughs> can I be ring the doctors when he can do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a low blow, that lad. For now, I'm going to place down my wine and we're going to get the answer. We have option one or option two. Who wants one? One. one. Would oh, all like to go? one. Oh. Go on, then. What would you like to go for? Yeah, I'll go two. Oh, you, 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 no, you. One. 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 Two. One. Yeah, one. You're one. extremely outnumbered, silly boys. For outcome two, we are going to find out two really I am awfully sorry to do this. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me deeply uncomfortable. But Donald Bob and you're ready! Right. Hey! Hey. 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 Did anyone predict Billy? No. no. That's a proper plot twist, that. Shall we see who is in envelope Yes. One? Yes, Mr. Host. Oh. Please. The thing is, how do we get it so wrong though? Because no one voted Billy. Because no one voted Billy. We didn't finish the game. Yeah. <laughs> It is you. What are the odds that they sit next together on the couch? Oh first? yeah. Charles, right? Right? Yeah. I was right all along. We stick along. together. Wait, I did it with. I did it with. No. No. Try no. be falsely accused. No, you are the murderer because we met. Oh, it's you or all. Two outcomes. Can it be sugar though? Because I said Donald. Donald. Anyway, guys, thank you for coming. Bye, everyone, go home. Try it. Do it. Spin with it. You've got to spin. 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 Turn around, turn around, turn around. Vortex, Vortex it. Spin. Vortex it. <laughs> but what is it, cider? Yeah. Uh, apple cider, is it? It tastes a bit beery. It's very beery. Tell like you didn't even get yourself one. Oh, we spun twice. <laughs> I've just realised I filmed absolutely nothing today. So the last clip you would have seen was us very drunk last night, but now we've come out for a Sunday roast. I've never actually been here before. It's a little like pub place at the Trafford Centre, and this looks so good. That wasn't in focus, so I just need to show you again, just to appreciate how good this looks. Hello everyone, it is a few days later. I was struck down by possibly the worst cold yet again. I literally said about every cold I have because I feel like they keep getting worse and worse and worse. Whatever is going around the UK right now, it is lethal. Like I felt it coming on over the weekend. You know when you just start to feel like a bit of like a snotty nose, you don't feel great. I could feel it on Saturday. And then when I woke up Sunday, I was like hung over. So I was like, oh, it could just be like hangover, whatever. No, on Monday and Tuesday, I was literally, I could not do anything. I can't even explain to you, this is very TMI. Waking up with snot dripping. Like it was just the worst cold I've ever had. Still feel a bit bunged up, but I can actually breathe today. So I was like, okay, today's the day. I'm getting back on it. I'm vlogging because I haven't vlogged for two days and I've really missed it. I've literally been laid in bed and there's nothing on Netflix either that I've really wanted to watch. I've just been like re-watching old films I had Harry Potter on and that was about it. So it's been a very boring few days and I hate that because I have so much I need to do this week and I have such a good week planned, which obviously I can now do, but it's just not cute when you get a cold. So to any of you, or to be honest, everyone is suffering with this in the UK. I really hope you guys start to feel better soon because it is horrendous, but it is Wednesday. It is a brand new day and I am about to go into town because I am getting straight back on it. I've got a couple of ads that I'm filming today and I'm gonna go and get my nails done as well because the nail has finally healed. So I can actually go and get a nail put back on it, which I'm so excited for. And I'm also pretty over these nails now. Like, to be honest, they never actually turned out exactly how I wanted them anyway. So I'm just kind of excited to get these off and I'm just gonna get a plain color again because I miss just having plain, boring nails. What else am I doing today? I'm coming back, probably just cook dinner and then probably just have a chill night because tomorrow I'm going to my first Pilates lesson, which I'm really excited about. I'm really wanting to start Pilates for ages. And yeah, I'm going tomorrow, but I'm going with just a friend and we're having like a private lesson because she's done it quite a few times before and I haven't done it at all. So I was like, okay, I feel like just to build my confidence, I need to do like a one-on-one -on -one lesson. And then I'm going out tomorrow night to the Ivy Asia and then I'm in London on Friday and then down at Saf's in Brighton this weekend. So very busy.
busy week, so I'm really glad I'm starting to feel better. And we're heading to town now, and we're gonna go to Blank Street, I think, because I wanna go and work in a coffee shop, and I really want the Mel's maple matcha before it sells out, before I can't get it anymore. Tried the banana bread matcha, by the way, which I'm gonna be so real, I really didn't rate, like, at all. I don't think it tasted, like, much. I didn't get it with oat milk, though. I got it with just, like, normal milk and not oat milk, and I think that's where I maybe made the mistake, because when Callum got his Mel's matcha with normal milk, it didn't taste as good as it did with when I had it with oat milk. So maybe I need to try it again, but I was just really underwhelmed, especially compared to like the cinnamony ma like maple one. That is just so good. So I was expecting big things and I just didn't really like it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go and get a matcha, go and work in town, and then I'll catch you guys up when I'm there and go and get my nails done. Really, really, really cannot wait to get these off my hands. I think I'm just going to get them nude. She's getting a nude. Plain. Gorgeous. Plain. Boring. Large nude nails. Large nude nails. But I need them to match everything. Why are you speaking so quietly? Go speak up. I don't know. I get shy. Just speak up. Tell them what you're doing. I'm getting nude nails. Everyone, Anna's getting her nails done because she's been to speak at one decibel. No one can hear that. The camera's looking for me because I get shy fucking out in public. Babs is literally not a single soul. There's nobody in here. I don't know why I'm shy. Oh my god. A blank Sorry. street, which I didn't film in there because it's very overstimulating. There was a lot of people in that shop. Thank you. Yeah. Second awesome. blank street, yeah. awfully overly stimulating. And this comes to a new nail place. Mm. I'm in a new nail shop, everyone. Not been in here before. Loving it. Yeah, what did you get from Blank yeah, Street? It's like an interview. <laughs> I got a Mel's maple matcha. I'm just getting my interview in today because we couldn't do it last night. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't do it last night. Why did we do it last night? Because she was ill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been dreadfully unwell. I did explain that this morning actually that I've not been myself. Recently. I'm a broken girl. I feel fine now. You're broken girl and you're broken nails. No, the nail is fixed. Okay, I'm home. I've got my nails done. I went for a little nude colour. Obsessed. Love the fact I've now got my nail back. And I just have to do a little haul because Sol de Janeiro is one of my favourite brands ever, ever, ever. Like, I'm obsessed with it. And they actually emailed me over the weekend and asked if I wanted anything from the brand. And I was like, oh my God. I freaked out a couple of months, well, probably like a month ago now. Because I got sent a PR parcel of all of the sprays. And I literally rang my mum because we'd just been in London together. And we're just looking at all the stuff. And I just my mum one of the sprays I was like mum I can't believe it but the email being up on the PR list anyway so I said to the woman what my favourite scent was and she sent me the bum bum body oil which I really wanted to try and a top up of the cream and then they've added in this cute little travel set of the pink one which I haven't I've got the spray but I haven't tried is this a body lotion yeah the body lotion and then the body cream Honestly, Soul to Sarah, thank you so much. I can't even explain. This is genuinely one of my favorite, favorite brands ever. Like, I love it. And I've really wanted to try this oil because apparently oiling your body is meant to be really good, but it's just not something that I've ever really done. But, oh my God, I can't wait to use this. Thank you so much. Anyway, we've come home now because working in a coffee shop was actually quite overstimulating and I forgot my headphones, which really wasn't the best. So we've had to, oh God, oh my God, it's going everywhere. We've had to come home to work. I'm obsessed, thank you so much. We have just ordered a Fat Pat. I've gone on about this in my videos for ages because I once had a bite of Callum's and it was genuinely the best sandwich I've ever had in my life. We just ordered one, I can confirm. Incredible, we've halved it because the full baguette is just absolutely massive, but it's so cheesy. Oh my God, wow, if you come to Manchester, you need to go to the, it's like a little sandwich window in Northern Quarter, but we just ordered it, but you have to try this. I don't know how it's taken me this long to finally get a full it's one. It's the fact that I don't actually eat meat. And you love it that much. Mm-hmm. It's so Wow. I need to be able to make this at home. I feel like that would be a bit challenging. Yeah, I don't know how they've got the steak like this. And also, they've made the bread. Please. They made the bread themselves? Yeah. Can't bother to do that. I'd rather just order it. Very much worth it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm.